we have now four wickets down. Great shot. That's the mark of a top class player. Right under the cosh all day he's been and uh, the rest of his team and he suddenly produces a stroke of that quality. Yeah, this is a cracking off drive. There's always going to be a single there, but um, it's just the thought that the knee might hold him up for a couple of yards, slow him down and uh, Goff was the man who fielded. Beautiful stroke again. Uh, it's a cracking cover drive and now a very, very good sweep shot. Well, what we've seen from Martin Crowe is a variety of shots because he's such a good player. He plays a sweep well. We've seen him pull nicely. Um, the on drive, the lofted on drive, cover drive. Beautiful stroke, almost automatic. Such a class player, the moment he sees the ball well over pitched, the face of the bat comes through so very straight. Well, this is certainly a more controlled innings from Martin Crowe. In the first innings he scored 70 and played well, one or two rather ambitious shots, but here we're seeing the class of the man. Fine shot. England operated for a long time this morning to Martin Crow with two men out in the deep on the leg side. Not so this afternoon. Graham Gooch very wide at long leg, but that ball struck away square of the wicket. Plenty of space out there for that shot. it again and four more Graham Gooch never never picked it up at all off the bat so successive boundaries take Martin Crowe to 50 for the second time in the match well that's a nice innings by Martin Crowe a class above anything else uh, played by his New Zealand partners but that was a good ball by And he's reproduced this form before, 50 in each innings, now on four occasions, starting back in 1984-5. at Lords was perhaps one of his best test centuries out of the 16 that he has scored. It's a good shot for four. Been waiting on that. One of the very good things about Martin Crowe, now that he's settled down, you know that he wasn't well in the first innings, he looks to have improved in health. One of the very good things is that he's playing mostly between mid on, mid off. It's been very straight, made a conscious effort to keep his defensive strokes going there and keep his attacking strokes going in that same arc. 76 so far, and they've faced uh, only 116 balls in the partnership, so it's been entertaining stuff as well, not uh, just grim, dour togetherness out there. 
but uh, they've really done well. The superstar on the left and the bright young player on the right. Now Darren Goff and uh, Martin Crow has strike. Shot. Wonderful stroke. Yes, at the moment, everything from Darren Goff is uh, pretty short or very full. Nothing much in between. That signal says it all. Yeah, lovely balance by Martin Crow. Plays the shot. Perfect poise after he's hit the ball. Said that this is Martin Crowe's last test innings in England. Ninety six not out. And Martin Crowe is only thirty one years old. I He's a sort of bowler that worries batsmen. You're never quite sure where he's going to bowl. His length is all over the place. He suddenly bowls you a magic ball. Crow on 99. Down the pitch, and that's it. Up go his arms. A very small crowd to appreciate it, but my word, it's gone into the history books again. His 17th test century, and his fifth against England. Source of great delight to him, to his team in the dressing room. And you have to say that is an innings of control and composure and beautiful stroke play. And he's just shone like a beacon above any of the rest of the New Zealand batsmen.